I'm John Hinkle, senior pastor of First Presbyterian Church here in downtown Murfreesboro on the corner of College and Spring. This is your Saturday morning preview of Sunday morning sermon. And as you can see, we are in the middle of our session retreat. And I've got to get this done, and they're being very patient. Now, interesting enough, they're being very quiet, which has not been the case all morning long, but that's okay. So we are in the middle of stewardship season. And if you remember, Jim Crumley introduced our theme, which is created, connected, and called into the world to be the stewards of the good gifts God has bestowed upon us. Last Sunday, we talked about being created, this Sunday, we are talking about being connected. And one of the things that we're gonna look at is that the good news is we don't have to do stewardship by ourselves. We have been called and connected through the body of Christ. And one of my favorite Bible verses that speaks about this need to be connected is Paul's first letter to the Corinthians where he talks about the church as a human body. And, and as a kid, I always thought that was the funniest scripture I ever read. Like, the church is a body. And if you remember, like, the hand can't say it's better than the foot, and the eye can't say it doesn't need the ear in order to function. We all need each other. And I'm throw this out. It's rare if I talk about the devil or, the, or Satan or that which is evil, but I'm letting you know... We're being as still as we can. Happy, stop. <laughs> I'm letting you know that the one thing the devil delights in is when the body of Christ is splintered and fractured and divided. And Paul reminds us that we are called to be linked together as one body. And I love this part from our scripture lesson where Paul says very clearly if one part of the body suffers, then we all suffer. If one part of the body rejoices, we all rejoice. And one of the great and wonderful things that we will get to do and get to participate in is Dedication Sunday. And what is so wonderful about that moment, it's not just one person walking down there, placing their pledge on the table. It's the whole church because this is our purpose as the body of Christ, to know Christ and to make him known in this world. So we look forward to seeing you. Uh, I look forward that we're having church without snow. Uh, two services, Sandra Hawkins will be here at 8.30. Jennifer Willoughby, I'm guessing, will be here at 11. Dave will be here at 11. And we look forward to worshiping with each other. Have a great day. And we'll see you Sunday. Y'all can wait. Bye,